We weren't ready for what the dark hedges would reveal to us this night. One of the most haunted places in Northern Ireland, cloaked in mystery and legends about a grey lady. This was an investigation that allowed us to reveal some of her story relating to murder, and even to capture an image of the grey lady herself. Welcome to the Dark Hedges. Crypt Keepers, we are getting ready to investigate tonight and I don't think I'm as excited to film any other location on our entire Europe trip as I am for this one. Not only is this place steeped in history, it has a lot of really cool ghost stories, but it was also an official filming location for Game of Thrones and I am a massive fangirl. So the Dark Hedges is actually pretty famous. I've actually heard of this one. I did also see this one in Game of Thrones as well, so I'm waiting to have my Arya Stark moment. I'm also hopeful the weather holds up. It looks a bit dreary but it hasn't rained yet today, so we'll see. We're also joined with a couple of special guests and good friends of ours, KJ Haunting. So I'm so stoked for that as well, that we actually get to investigate this really cool place with some locals too. And this place is haunted famously by a gray lady. Let's cross our fingers and hope she comes out to interact tonight. The dark hedges are formed by 150 beech trees, planted to create an imposing approach to Grace Hill House, built in 1775 by James Stewart and named after his wife Grace Lind. This row of gnarled trees has become infamous for its hauntings of a grey lady, who has been sighted wandering the lonely path, making her way from tree to tree but always disappearing before reaching the entrance to Grace Hill House. Her origins are a mystery, with some speculating she may be Margaret Stewart, the daughter of James Stewart, who has been nicknamed Cross Peggy. Others claim she could be the ghost of a maid from the house who died under mysterious circumstances, while many also think she could belong to a supposed graveyard that has since been lost in the area. Whatever the truth behind the Grey Lady is, many have claimed to sight her mist-like apparition and even capture her in photographs. So will we come face to face with her tonight? If you're ready to find out, Hit like, subscribe, and let's jump into investigating the dark edges. Crib Keepers, it is dusk and we need to get started because the Grey Lady, the one who haunts the dark edges, is said to appear around this time. Also, we are joined by two very special guests. Kim and Jason from KJ Hauntings. Hello. Hey. Thanks for being here, guys. No we're problem. Really excited to have you. Yeah, we're excited. <laughs> we have done this location previously, quite recently, so we're excited to come back and get at it. Guys, Ghost Tube is rolling, and we've got to make it down because we've left a camera in the middle of the road, and there's a car coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's just one light as well. One really bright light down there. But they could be out thinking the same about us. Yeah. What are we doing what with one big yeah. light? <laughs> True. Yeah. Uh, uh, bird alert, maybe Ames. There's a lot of birds here, Amy. Yes. <laughs> You're going to struggle. <laughs> Revolting. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> What's revolting? Okay, I am going to introduce myself. My name is Amy and I've come here tonight with Jared and Kim and Jason, who you might remember, they've visited you before. We're here to talk to the Grey Lady or anyone. I think a cow just snorted. <laughs> a cow sneeze. A cow sneezing maybe? Yeah. All right, take care. Bless you. <laughs> Grey Lady or anyone. I'm not here to talk to the cow, sorry, but the grey lady. A lot of people have seen you around this time. Anyone else who might be here? Anyone possibly from the nearby graveyard that's supposedly uh, abandoned or hidden in the fields somewhere? If there is somebody here and you've come up to my hand already and caused it to say revolting, is there something else that you can say? Possibly let us know your name. For those of you watching from home, it does have a smell here as well because we're out in like the countryside. So I can smell like farm, you know, like farm animals, like manure sort of smells. So maybe. Maybe what? Maybe the ghosts are like talking about the smell. Oh, yeah. It is quite revolting. 
The grey lady is predominantly seen at dusk. She's seen along this whole stretch of road, but at the end of the road is sort of where she disappears behind the trees. And we are walking down towards the house. This is essentially like a driveway to a big grand old house. Who is she is up for debate. She could have been a servant. She could be someone from the graveyard out here, the daughter of the family that lived there. Like there's, no one really knows much about this woman. So I, I'm curious if she'll actually talk to us. Maybe she's more residual, I don't know. Now we're investigating, I feel like I've got stage fright in front of you guys. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> oh. I, we understand though, like whenever we're collabing as well and we're doing the filming, we feel the exact same way. Yeah. And then there's this car down here. I still yeah. don't know what's with that. It's freaking me out. More so than ghosts. Yeah. Okay, is there someone here who can come up and interact with us? Please don't be shy. Just come up to my hand. I feel like I'm in that um, Stephen King movie, like Christine or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this car is just Yeah, like... and we're walking towards it. Yeah, too. no <laughs> way. The last time we were here, we kept getting like numbers through. Yeah. And I just wonder, were they trying to tell us like the number of a tree? So the trees are actually numbered here. There's wee pins on them with wee bits of metal. So if there is someone here, do you, you want to give us the number of a tree and we can go to that tree to try and find you? Oh yeah, there's one. Are they in order, like ascending? Yeah, they should be. So this one's number 13 or 18. What does it say? Entrance to the field is free. The bull will charge later. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just want to walk ahead with this for a bit? Yeah. Why is she here? Why is she here? The grey lady? I mean, that's what we're here to find out, if you're talking about the grey lady. You tell us, maybe you know why she's here? No one knows why she's here. Can you tell us who she is? People just refer to her as the Grey Lady, as far as I know. Here, the car we could see in the distance finally drove past us, leaving us the dark edges completely to ourselves. So the mystical lights in the distance was a car. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's a bird. That was, that was a flock. <laughs> Ames, you can go ahead. I did notice today when we rocked up here, the first thing I noticed was in the field was a huge flock of freaking blackbirds or crows or something. I'm like, is this an omen? This is not a good sign. <laughs> Does the name Margaret mean anything to you? Maybe Cross Peggy? I don't know if that's offens an offensive nickname. Were you a servant in the house? Because there's a story of of, it, of the grey lady being a servant who used house. to work. House. House. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh God. Why did it, why that, it so that's terrifying? It. Oh, you got an that's answer. Crazy. House. Just as you said that. That is absolutely insane. House. Okay. So, so that... you're related to the house. We're actually on our way to the house, so we're walking there now. So that could still be Cross Peggy or the servant, really, because yeah, I'm assuming Cross Peggy lived in the house. That was spot on, like yeah. super relevant to what Jason was just asking and yeah. referring to. Maybe not the voice, but the word. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the voice was very creepy. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I really <laughs> like pants. <Yeah. laughs> Should we progress to the house then? We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Yeah, yeah that's The house is actually it looks really awesome as well. I'm curious to see what it looks like at night. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get more answers at the house. We continued a little further down the road before receiving our next relevant response through Ghost Tube, which happened to come through right as a police car drove by, which strangely would also become relevant to our later investigation. Normally if we're doing like a house, not like a long road. Don't go, <gasps> Don't go, Don't there. go there. Don't go, go to the there. house. Don't go to the house. Why not? So there's a car coming guys, but this is part of the experience, I guess. <laughs> don't go, don't go that, to the house. Ooh, that's the police. It's the PSNA. Oh. <laughs> police. That's the police. <laughs> they come to get us. Yeah. It's the 5 0 We're we breaking oh. any laws? No, we're no. not. No. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. You've seen a, like a real life PSNI Land Rover. 
So we would call those landies. Yeah, landies. Like landies. That's a landy. Yeah. So they're like riot, like for riot, you know, because it's Northern Ireland. Sometimes there's riot in here. <laughs> cool. So yeah. <laughs> So just to recap, because we got interrupted by a car, but we had the word house come through when Jason was talking about the house that we're walking to. And then we had, don't go there, but we're still going there. We're still going there. Yeah. <laughs> you bet you are. Oh, that looks so creepy. That looks eerie. Okay. Let's go to the house that we were just told not to go to. <laughs> Thank you for the warning, telling us not to go to the house, but uh, can you tell us why? Cause we're going there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> is anyone else's eyes like playing tricks on them walking down here i don't know if it's just because we're in the dark but there could possibly be been people there don't you feel know. like you're seeing i, like I feel like i've seen something yeah and i'm not sure it was certainly not gray anyway right. but it was just black. a dark black figure same as jason reckons it like feels like he's seeing like dark shadows like we we're just shining the torch down this way and i was like is there any dark mass on the is that a Floor? gunshot or a car backfiring, guys? You're the That's experts. A, probably a firework. So <laughs> okay. it's like, yeah. <laughs> We're just in the riot police. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Riot, poli oh, right enough, riot yeah. police go past. There's gunshots going off in the distance. What kind of place did you guys bring us to? <laughs> Birds? <laughs> you know, I've got a new fear. Guano in the mouth. Like, that's who falling oh, into the mouth. Gross. Yeah. Definitely, <laughs> you want to be on the end of that. Don't, yeah. don't look up and keep your mouth closed. Let's yep. go. Yeah. I can't stop looking behind. It's like yeah. <laughs> Do you feel that feeling where? No eye. No eye. <laughs> but they have spoken. Um, is it called Irish or Gaelic? Irish, Irish? Yeah, Gaelic. Yeah, Irish Gaelic. It's it's kind of the same thing. We're not sure, but the last time we were here through the spirit box, it sounded like it was in Irish. Um, I would have done Irish at like school, so we started to speak in Irish to them then, but we didn't get much response back. And if we did get response back, I don't know if I would know <laughs> what they were saying anyway. How do you say hello? Is a geoditch. Geoditch. Is that geoditch? Yeah. Geoditch. 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 I know. No I. Ditch. No I. Geoditch. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> honorary Irish people now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll take anyone that's like <laughs> Yeah, we spoke a little bit about uh, um, Lep Castle. Yeah. We, know. we did. We know. We, did. we were quite impressed with your Irish. It was oh, very good. Yeah. Thank you. We actually um, went to a local. Can you just tell me if we're pronouncing this right? <gasps> what did it say? Murdered. Murdered. Oh. Murdered. That, that makes sense with the, uh, if it's the servant girl yeah. story she's apparently have uh they've died or gone missing in under mysterious circumstances there's something sus with the whole servant story hey yeah. like they it just says a servant that went missing under mysterious circumstances that's the story could have been murder could have been something else and it all seems to center around this house right yeah 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 where the servant girl would have been mm. that's right is that a cow again I, f I feel like we're too far away from those cows. Yeah, yeah they're ages away now. Where the servant girl would have been. Mm. That's where the servant girl would have been. Will I shine the torch and see? Hello? Is that the grey lady? Are you behind us Are now? Are you following us? The grey lady said to jump between, well not jump between the trees, but like flow from tree to tree, right? Yeah, she's seen all down here, but I guess at the end of the driveway or the dark edges, she sort of disappears behind a tree to where we're heading. So, right, so this is getting a bit weird, huh? Like, these responses seem to be connecting sort of a story. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I feel like there's someone around. Okay, so you're connected to the house. I'm sorry if something bad happened to you. I understand if that's not something you want to talk about. Um, can you tell us if you know anything about the graveyard that's said to perhaps be here? Maybe as well, like the warning to not go there as well is, I was murdered here, I was hurt here. Don't you go there because it's a bad place. Yeah. Could be. That's, yeah, could be. Is that what you're trying to tell us? For our safety, don't go to the house? <gasps> Oh. 
Dock and roll, dock and roll. <laughs> I'm very on edge right now. Should we keep going then? Yeah. Did you just touch me? Maybe. Actually, no, I wouldn't have. No. You seem too far away. Yeah, you were definitely you were way ahead. Where did you feel it? I didn't. I heard it on my bag. I was filming it, so I might have caught it. Here, I heard a strange noise on my bag and thought that maybe Jared had touched me, which he had not. This sound was captured on camera, yet it's difficult to say whether it could have been something shifting in my bag or perhaps be paranormal. We know you might not want to talk about your story about what happened to you, but is there anything you want to say to this? Is there any message you want to give this? All right, I can see a stop sign, so I think we're at the end now. Yeah. So we've just made it down to the end of the dark hedges, and this is where the grey lady allegedly sort of disappears, whether that's because it's reaching the house I don't know, but this seems to be the threshold of where she sort of reaches or is seen. We've had such interesting results just walking down this path though. It's pretty nuts. Did you guys have any experiences when you were here last time? Down at this part? No. We were further up when through Vox we got Grey Lady. They actually said Grey Lady. The words Grey Lady yeah. came out? Yeah. Wow. But we were, yeah, we were definitely further up and we didn't go as far as the house the last time. So that'll be interesting. I feel like we got to. I mean, after getting a warning like, yeah. the house, don't go there. Like, Amy's crib, we got to go. Like, that's just what we do. <laughs> yeah. We're going to the house. Yeah. We're stupid like that. <laughs> At this point, we decided to forge ahead to reach out closer to the house. But as we did, we began to hear strange, unsettling noises around us. The house looks pretty eerie. It does. Actually. Maybe they meant what happened was revolting because someone was murdered. Right. I thought I heard like a scream. Aye. Did anybody hear that? No? Over to the right. Maybe they meant what happened was revolting. Maybe they meant what happened was revolting. It was while I was talking, but because yeah. I was talking, I didn't stop talking, but it was over to the right. <gasps> oh my God. I wonder if Jared's camera's still rolling, if he was far enough ahead <gasps> from us. Did you see that? Did you hear a scream? No. We heard a scream possibly come from over that way which is just like woods, I think. I don't, I don't really know what's out there. <laughs> Gunshot again. <laughs> or firework. Firework. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you not see that in the sky? Yeah, wouldn't you see a firework? True. Oh yeah. Smart. Smart, yeah. smart, smart, smart. <laughs> At least one of us has our brain switched yeah. on tonight. <laughs> so what I was talking to myself about was I was looking at the grass, there's all these big long worms. I'm talking like this long and what? they like quickly disappeared into the ground. You watch, I'll find one for you. I bet I'll find one. See, here's its tail. Here's what, here's, see, here's a couple. Oh! And look, they're going to the ground, what see? What the heck? Here's what, oh, look how long these are, look. Look at them all. Look, they're worms. <gasps> what are that? they? They're worms. I've never seen them like that before, though. <gasps> Here we are. Grace Hill House. It looks ominous. I'm going to say that definitely wasn't the longest ghost to walkthrough we've ever done but it felt like it because we're lugging all the, the cameras and all the gear while we were doing it so it feels good to find a bit here <laughs> <laughs> it felt so long that walk for some reason it just was like never ending i think it was like the darkness and like you were just walking into the abyss okay so this is the house this was like the original estate here the dark edges was built up to the gray lady could be very well connected to this house being the family's daughter or possibly a servant a, a maid who something mysterious happened to i don't know we got the response of murder could that be related no one really knows much about the gray lady chasing the very interesting responses we had received on our walk over to the house we decided to reach out here using ghost tube vox in an attempt to clarify what we had already been told so again my name is amy we have jared here jason and kim and we've come a very long way to talk to you i understand maybe you didn't want us to come here is there a reason for that We were trying to talk to us earlier when we were walking down the road, we got the word murdered and we got the word don't go there. Some sort of a warning, perhaps? If you walk up in the middle of us here, maybe you can use your energy to communicate. We'd love to know who you are, why you're still here. Uh, uh, 
I'm, it's like someone was trying to yeah. say something. I did hear... A branch snap. Yeah. yeah. I thought I heard I seen you. Or I heard I seen or Is this cross Peggy or is it the maid? There's a voice out here. You just heard a voice? know that there is a nearby hotel or pub just down the road so it could be that but I swear I was just hearing like um like laughing or female voice laughing maybe is it cross Peggy or Margaret what do you prefer I heard more branches snapping over that direction more branches snapping yeah you getting new vibes Kim no. No, not right now. It, it feels peaceful-ish, is that the right word? Certainly not. I don't get many eerie vibes standing here. It's weird because I feel like the vibe, you know, when we're walking down the hedges was a lot different to the vibe now. And I don't know if it's the acoustics and the animal sounds that we're hearing or the words we got on Ghost Soup, but I felt a lot more like darker down there. Yeah, I agree. It's just like this is a lot open as well. So maybe that's why where it doesn't feel as claustrophobic or someone can jump out of a tree and get you at any moment. Was that your fear? <laughs> a bird, yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything to say to us while we're here? This won't cause you any harm, by the way, this device. He did that. He did that? I heard oh, he yeah. did that too. Well, I heard he, he did, did that. Yeah. What did he do to you? I find this response quite interesting, especially after Kim states that this device cannot hurt you. It's almost as if someone is saying that they had already been hurt by someone with the response, he did that. He did that. He did that. He did that. Can you tell us about him? Who is he and what did he do? Were you hurt? What happened to you? It's okay to tell us. What if I were to walk up to this house? Is that okay? Did something bad happen to you in there? It's okay to tell us we won't we won't judge you or anything. Can you knock back? Sure. Sure. Okay. The PSNI. The PSNI. The PSNI. That hundred percent said the PSNI, and that's what passed us in the the cops. That's what they were. Oh really? Oh, yeah. The cop oh. The cop police. Man. Yeah. Police service, Northern Ireland, PSNA. Right. Yeah. That was so clear. Yeah. It was kind of random though. It's yeah. like the ghost, maybe the ghosts know what that is and can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? We get things that would be random to a, to a spirit, but relevant to our investigation of the night. And sometimes I feel like maybe it could be their way of giving us something relevant to our night to be like, hey, I'm here, I can see you, I can hear you sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like maybe it's more of a sign rather than the spirit showing an interest in the PSNI because that's a bit random, right? Yeah. <laughs> this was a strange response. Yes, seemingly relevant to our evening considering we'd earlier had a PSNI van drive right past us while walking down the dark hedges. Do you think this could be significant? The PSNI. So you can see us. Can you tell us something about us? Like maybe what we look like to you? Would you like us to go back to the hedges or stay here at the house?
With responses seeming to taper off at the house, we decided to move back towards the actual dark hedges to continue experimenting. But as we were setting up, we began to hear noises approaching us. You've got a big ass bob on you. Heard someone then. Despite being outside, making the possibility of these noises being explainable high, it's always unnerving to hear this in the dark. So we began to set up for our next experiment, which would see us perform an SD session in sync with a ghost tube seer session. This saw Jared wear noise cancelling headphones while listening to a spirit box and relaying anything he heard come through, while we asked questions he could not hear. Additionally, Kim would enter the sensory deprived virtual environment that ghost tube lens provides to digitally scry white noise, while seer could produce images based off of of environmental readings interpreted by AI. If you're interested in grabbing ghost tube lens for yourself, check the links in this video's description. Kim would also wear a pair of lucid headphones which basically amplified any noises in our surroundings to her. But right as we were getting started, we began to hear more noises surrounding us. Now Kim, I'll just get you started. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into CMO, but as soon as you go into CMO, look down and start recording again. Yeah. And then we're going, but don't do it yet because I haven't got my headphones on yet. Okay. I'm going to count uh, down. What was that? Counting down. Right, I'm going under, guys. Okay. All right, Kim, you're good to go. We'll just run if yeah. something happens. <laughs> <laughs> Leave them. Just. Uh, I just heard something like running him. around back here. Just him. I'm going to introduce or my. Or Kim. Oh. Do you have something to say to Kim? Do you remember Kim? Great. There's people out here. Here. Who's here? My name's Amy and this is Jason. And then we've got Jared and Kim sitting in front of us who you might be able to talk to or go up close to and maybe can show us something even. Can you show us what you look like? We're really keen to see what maybe the maid looks like if she's still here. Who's that? That's Jason. Is the maid around though? The gray lady. I, uh, I see a toy dinosaur. Toy dinosaur. Oh. It's old. That's random. Is there anything else in the image, Kim? Get wow. up. Get up. Who do you want to get up? If you're trying to figure out how that device works, where you can show us things, maybe you can use your energy to describe something. We would love to... I don't. You don't know how to use it? Want. You don't want to use it. That's okay if you don't want to use it. But maybe you could try. We would love for you to show us something. But if you feel more comfortable talking, it would be great to know your name. Who's that? Well, my name is Amy. Again, Jason, Kim and Jared. Who is it that you can see here that you don't know who they are? It's kind of weird because like earlier it was like, why is she here? Yeah. I'm feeling people walking past or something. I like think. walking around me. If you're around that man, maybe you can touch one of them. We're really keen to know if this is the maid or if this is Margaret, who was known as Some. Cross Peggy. Some. Or is this someone else entirely? There's four of us here. How many of you are here? He. He. Him. He. He. Him. Him. We're actually getting like... He is near. Okay. Who's near? So uh, I have uh, a lady and she's in a dress. It's it's either white or grey. Oh my God. Oh no. And there's trees. It's it's the hedges. It's exactly where we are. Oh it's, my God. It's the hedges here, both sides, comes <laughs> right up over her. She's walking right down. Oh my God. It's, it's, Hundreds. It's the most relevant image I've seen. Oh my God. Um, hey. There's like trees yeah. and then there's like a gap and then there's trees. So she's in the middle of the road, maybe? She's in the middle of the road, yeah. And then there's trees both sides. Young. She's just passing where there's a gap beside her. Was was she young? Were you a young woman? It hurt. Oh. I, I seen the back of her. Oh my God. I've got chills. Yeah, me too. Oh, I've got so many chills. She had her hair in a ponytail. Did something bad happen to you?
This image is eerily on point to the location we were investigating, but also its historic ghost story of the Grey Lady, who has been seen walking amongst the trees. Not only this, we seem to be getting more responses through verbally that indicated something bad may have happened to a lady in this area, though this wouldn't be the only image relevant to the dark hedges to come through, with the very next image showing us what appeared to be a REM pod, which we had just placed out on the road. Can you walk up towards us? Elite. 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 This looks like a, like a candle or a REM pod. Can you walk up towards this red light on the floor? This has a red circle. Eight. Eight. Is that the tree you want us to go to? Weeks. Eight weeks. No. Okay, it's not the tree you want us to go to, maybe? What's, what's the significance of eight weeks? Can you come up to this red light? All it does is make some noise. Get on with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are we frustrating? Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about having us visit you? Again, all goosebumps. Are you beside Jared and Kim? I haven't. You two. You oh. beside us two? These two, maybe. Oh, maybe. I'm hearing things down here as well. Yeah. And I really can't see very far. Will I shine a torch? Behind us. Oh. <laughs> that way. I did hear something down there though. Yeah. Like something slide. Can you possibly tell us your name? Seven. Seven. What's seven? Whisper. I thought I heard a woman whispering in my ear then, but I didn't make out what she said. Can you try to be more clear for Jared to hear you and then he'll tell us? Or you could whisper to Kim. Weeks. I'm really cold now too and got goosebumps again. You, you said eight weeks and then seven weeks. Are you maybe counting down to something? I'm just noting that it felt like someone was like touching my hair or something there now. Are you touching Kim? Six. Six. It's going down. It really is, yeah. yeah. Eight, seven, six. Who's around Kim? Maybe. What happens when you reach one? <laughs> Are we going to see you? Did you two, uh, Jason and Amy, did you say something there now to each other? No. Feel no. it? I kind of heard something. What did it sound like? It was like a whisper, I couldn't make it out, but it was definitely chatter. I heard the word <laughs> with that accent. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mud. 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 So this is, uh, a person here and another person here, this here person is kind of doing this. Uh, this person's holding something weird, but they're just looking at each other. This here, I think, is a woman and wow. there's like red curtains. I think it's a man and a woman. Is that you? Um, are you showing us something that happened in the house? One of her hands looks like it's someone's damaged their hand. You must have gone inside. Oh. Did something happen to you in the house? Are you walking? No. There's no. footsteps. Are you walking? Are you walking? The house was definitely. Okay. So something's happened in the house. That's what I'm picking up on. But just from. The house is significant for yeah, sure. Massively. What can you tell us about the house? Try not to. Or I'm trying not to. You don't want to. Maybe she doesn't want to speak about it. You know how they say it's like a mystery what happened to her? Yeah. Maybe it's like so laid in in secret, it's, you know, people don't talk about it. It's like, yeah. shush, you're not supposed yeah. to be talking about this? Yeah. I. Uh, yeah, Aye. okay. <laughs> <laughs> not supposed to be talking about it? Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's okay to talk, talk about it to us. We're here to listen to you. Her. Can you tell her? So this is uh, uh, trees Behind again. you. This is just 
trees. Behind in the trees. <laughs> oh my god. It's literally just a whole bunch of trees. To the left. Literally to what? To the left. Like that's literally what's behind us. Yeah. Sorry, I know you're using night vision. Hoose. Hoose. Are you um, speaking Ulster Scots? It's a plan. Who? Who? You? Are you? Are you trying to speak Ulster Scots? Because you said who's Yeah. You. Drinking. Ulster Scots is another uh, like Hundreds. English language. Okay. Here. More specifically to Northern Ireland. Interesting. Hundreds here, are they from the graveyard or somewhere else? Maybe we can bring you something that you want. I'm in a graveyard. Graveyard. Oh, wow. And there's trees all around the graveyard and there's a big moon or sun. I can't tell if there's a moon tonight because it's I... very cloudy. Yes. Yes, there is a moon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sally. 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 That's the first name. Is Sally your is Sally your name? Were you a maid? I'm seeing nine graveyards. I mean graves. Nine. Are those graves buried somewhere here? Are they hidden somewhere in this area? Receiving this image is again extremely relevant to the tales of the Dark Hedges, where many speculate an old graveyard once existed. And though it is lost today, it could be a reason for the paranormal reports along this stretch of road. It's also worth pointing out that there was a large moon this night, which we would capture sight of later on. If I were to walk down- Hands, something about hands. Hands. If I were to walk straight down here, what would that lead me to? I can't wait to see these Work. images after yeah because <laughs> it sounds so spot on yeah work did did you me. work here at the house maybe yeah you said me me what was your job so this is more trees literally just trees scattered everywhere okay again relevant yeah this there's, a there's a dozen there's a there's a dozen a dozen trees i can i'm not even joking i can see 12 trees clearly in this <gasps> image swear and you'll see it yourself it's a bat. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 12 trees. It's a bed. bat? He's done it. He's done it. I'm thinking like a bat as in not a bat that flies in the sky. Right. And like he uses a it. weapon yeah. maybe? Yeah. Continue. We're really okay. sorry that that, that that happened to you. Um, Good. And we hope that you can find some sort of peace after talking with us. These images were all eerily on point, again showing trees, a major theme of the Dark Hedges. Yet adding to the strangeness of this image was Jared's response stating that there was a dozen trees, which is cool considering there are 12 prominent trees displayed in this image. Is there something that we can do for you? Can you see us? What do we look like to you? He sits. He sits? Here. <laughs> okay, so you can see just one of us? Can you see the rest of us? Do you know? What was that? Was that you? No. It's there. Oh my God. I heard that. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Sounds like that's like in a Northern Irish accent too, that he's he's relaying that. Was that you that made that noise in this general direction? It sounded like a slide or a scrape yeah, or... I don't know what it was at all. Do you know? What's that? Do you know? What's that? What was that noise? Can you tell us? What did we just hear here beside Jason? Can you show us one last image? One more image. Go. Go. Of what you look like, maybe? Sure. Sure. There's a, like an ancient bowl and there's like a, it looks like a donut in the middle, but it, it's, it's literally like a donut in the middle of an ancient bowl. Oh, a bowl. interesting. Um, it's in the shape of a donut, but I mean, it could be like a handle, a circle handle or a ring. Is it red? 
It has red. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. Oh my god. Okay, can you um do you have one final message for us? Or one final image? I feel like something just touched my knee then. Ooh. Did you just just touch Jared? Or one final image? I felt like something just touched my knee then. From the replay here, we were able to rule out Kim accidentally brushing up against Jared's knee. There's definitely Sometimes. Movement. There's definitely movement up there. Yeah, for sure. I think so. Are you coming down to greet us? Sally, it's been really nice talking with you. We're really sorry to hear what happened to you. And if you have any kind of final last thing that you want to say to us, um, we're listening. Or if there's anything we can do for you before we go. Go and take it. Take what? Mm. That came from Put it down. Above. Put what down? My torch? Do you like it? Do you prefer it when it's dark? Dead. Dead. Still. At this point, we've been reaching out for quite some time, so we decided to pull both Jared and Kim out to review the images we had received and debrief one another. To say we were blown away by these images and some of the Estes responses and how they tied together, as well as how it interweaved with the history and ghost stories of this location is an understatement. The images of trees, a graveyard, and most prominently, that of a seemingly grey lady walking amongst trees forming a line, something so many have claimed to cite in this very space, was truly astounding. But we we now wanted to walk the length of the hedges back towards where we started while rolling a thermal camera to see if we could gather any further visual evidence. That was a really interesting seer slash SC session. We are going to walk further down through the hedges now but we have thermal camera rolling and we've already spotted something like sort of weird. We don't know what it could be. Just seems like yeah there's something cold down here. I should feel like it's I, sort of gone now Yeah Jason. I don't think it's there. It's oh not there God. anymore. Yeah. What? We had a cold spot before in the distance and if it is there, it's not as prominent as yeah. it was. It was just like bang in the middle there. Can you see that? Just here? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can. I don't know. Well, it, like it kind of looks like it, mo it was moving. But... Is that it? I mean, I can't see anything there with my no. eyes. And it was blue too. Yeah. And they say spirits are cold, right? Yeah. So this is a cold signature. Okay, if there is anyone down here, can you follow us down the road? Come towards my voice. We saw a lady walking through the trees before, through the goggles, the lens. Can you come out again? How are we going, Jason? Yeah, all good. Nothing weird this way, anyway, so far. Is that something on the road? It looks warm. Like a warm mound on the road. Straight ahead. A warm mound? It could just be. Is it because there's a gap in the trees or something? Or a gap in like a puddle or something? How do I look? Great. <laughs> 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 It's actually really odd that I just got a heat signature went across there, like on the road. Oh, across. So yeah, it might have been an animal. That's cool. Was it big? It was small. <laughs> no, it was really small. Oh. <laughs> it was a big bear. Big bear. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little mouse or something. Yeah. A little rat. Maybe slightly bigger than that. Maybe a cat or... Kitty cat. Where you at? Kitty. Kitty. Here, we clearly capture something with a heat signature scurry across the floor from one side of the hedges to the other. In the moment, we assumed it must have been some kind of animal, yet when I boost the brightness of my night vision camera pointed in the same direction and compare the thermal footage frame by frame, there doesn't appear to be an animal at all. 
I cannot say this is paranormal as there may simply have not been enough infrared light to capture sight of what caused this heat signature, but I do find it pretty weird we did not capture this on the other camera. Can you see it? It's really odd that the road looks warm. Yeah, I've noticed this before and I feel like it's like this sort of, like this asphalt like absorbs the heat from the day. Ah, uh, yeah. I feel like it does because we've seen that before too, hey Ames? Mm. Or like a rock will always look warmer. Yeah. <laughs> How do the trees look? You can kind of see the cold of like the sky coming through. You can see the branches of the trees yeah. as well. You can hear my voice. Can you walk towards it? We'd love to see you. We're not scared of you. Yeah, you got a massive moth in your hair, Ames. Is it out? Yeah, it's gone now. <laughs> I felt it like... <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy. What's that light up ahead on the right? Is that where our car is? I'm um, assuming so. Still walking. It's a very long road, actually. I'm not getting vibes or anything, but we'll see maybe further up. How are you doing? My back is killing me. <laughs> Same. Oh, I don't think I've had to lug our equipment around like this at any recent investigations anyway. You can come up and walk in front of this camera here and we'll be able to see you if you're following us. We left the dark hedges feeling sad that something bad possibly happened to a lady here in the past, but privileged to be able to communicate and perhaps tell a small part of her story. I'm still shocked at the evidence we captured through Ghost Tips here and would like to thank KJ Hauntings for being a part of our investigation again. But if you did enjoy this video, I'd highly recommend hitting subscribe and checking you have all notifications turned on for this channel, as we're gearing up to bring you some very big videos this October in the lead up to Halloween. I'm talking places that have spawned terror Hollywood franchises like The Conjuring, and another with ties to the legendary Dracula. Then there's the darker side, with castles linked to torturous serial killers, and another that is a portal to hell. And not to mention the fact that we slept overnight in every single one of these locations. You won't want to miss what we have coming up on Amy's Crypt. Crib Keepers, I think our night at the Dark Hedges has come to an end and I'm so happy with what we picked up here from the initial ghost tube responses to our Vox to that Seer Estes that actually blew me away. We might have got some things on the thermal camera as well so I feel like we've had a really fruitful night. A massive shout out to KJ Hauntings. Those guys are awesome. Definitely check them out. I'm linking all their videos below. They're at the Dark Hedges not too long before us so this is their second time back I think and I'm so glad that we had them here because I really feel like they added a lot to this investigation good energy and uh, again massive Game of Thrones fan here so I'm like living my dream just investigating here and thinking I'm like oh you're stark all night <laughs> but I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed the video if you did please remember to like comment share and subscribe you can also do a bit more reading about the dark hedges on my website amyscrypt.com you can follow us for bonus content on patreon and youtube members that are linked below and then follow us on social media as well we're on all the platforms at amyscrypt but thank you guys so much for watching until next time